Hey everybody, Rebels of Cloud9 here. So I've just come off doing a bunch of what I would consider to be big projects lately. I've finished the Enterprise, or nearly finished the Enterprise. It's almost completed here. And I just built and finished two Thunderbolts, and that took a lot out of me. So I decided uh, for my next project to do something fun. Just something I could do with ease that I wouldn't be you know, frustrated about, and I could just keep going. And so I decided to build a zero that I really, really wanted to do. But uh, instead, <coughs> I've decided to build these little guys here. These are Zvezda's mounted samurai archers. These are 72nd scale, um, and they are part of the Art of Tactic gaming series that you buy from Zvezda. And my brother and I have been buying and building these guys. Well, he's been building them, actually. I've been buying them. And he's much better at painting figures than I am. Much, much, much better. And it's something I kind of wanted to become better at. I've seen a lot of modelers lately, um, you know, on the web who are really good at painting figures and faces. And I thought, why not just give it a try, you know? He's got more of a touch for it than I do, but... Maybe I can learn that as well. So I picked these guys out because <clears throat> I thought the horses would be kind of cool to paint. They look kind of fun. And uh, I one of the reasons why these guys uh, appeal to me is I love armor. It doesn't really matter in a way. I, I do have preferences. But I love armor. Armor is one of my favorite things, especially Middle Ages, stuff like that. Samurai armor has been kind of elusive to me. Um, till a couple years ago, and uh, then then these guys came out, and uh, I just I just gonna have a blast building these. I uh, haven't got the starter kit yet. I was gonna buy it this weekend from the store, but they sold out of it, unfortunately. So this, or I should say that they're gonna get it in this week, so I should be able to get it again so I can play this game because it looks like a lot of fun um, and you guys will see that too so don't worry this box here was about five bucks and you get two uh, samurai archers here they come on uh, a plate here the decals are in a bin uh, whenever we buy these things we take out the decals so they don't get squished because they're in these very very small boxes and sometimes we even take out these flags in here, but the one that we always do take out is the decals, just so we don't damage them, and uh, that would be absolutely terrible. The figures are beautiful. They are really well-crafted little guys. They're nice, hard plastic. They're not that soft, rubbery crap that you, you know, we're all familiar with. You know, the ones that don't hold on to paint really well and you're always doing touch-ups on. These are this nice gray plastic. They're snap kit, so anyone who just wants to play the game can. Um, and they also come with these pre-colored flags for each team. And the decals for the kit are just insignia decals. So you get red or yellow, and the yellow is kind of a transparent, but they still look good. They're going to be painted over anyway, so you get the Oda decals, so you get five of these I think uh, or no I think you get way more than that I might even have and then you get Takeda decals and they are this diamond shape I, I think I have a set of them, I do! there we go, cool so I've got a couple of them, actually I've got quite a few in here so this is what the decals look like and so this is just for either side of the flag so you get twenty all together. So here is yeah, here's the here's the first sprue. Here's the two halves of the horse, parts of the archer. He's got bits of pieces that go on him. This is the base. And I don't know what these arrows are for. I don't know what the flags are for. And I don't know what these rings that look like little washers are for. I will find out pretty soon, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, here's the second archer, he's on his horse, 
this is the main base plate for um, you put the mini base plates in there and they all kind of ride on that together two are for the um, archers and then the middle one is for a commander unit which I understand is just part of how to play the game um, you get this Zvezda card I'm not sure it's just an advertisement card there's nothing fancy about it they come in like every box so I've got quite a few of those this is the one that you need to be concerned with and I'm told these are for two different games that you play so again I don't have the instructions yet so I don't know what these are yet but uh, soon I will find out I'm pretty excited about that and the instructions here are very very simple they've got some instructions here on how to mount the pieces and again they're snap kits so you, you don't really have to worry but glue is they glue really really well together and on the back here they give you more directions so let's see what else there is yeah there's not too much in this so like I said I'm just excited to build some samurai and have some fun trying something new I'm gonna build him first the helmet guy first and one thing my brother recommended oh I still have it in here he was sawing them out with the Tamiya scribing saws he said it worked a lot better than cutting them out with the um, with the, the sprue cutters he said it um, helped him keep a lot of the detail and not destroy the parts. Oh, almost cut through. Come on! Hmm. He might be onto something here. Let's do this last one. The detail in the samurai themselves is pretty good for 70 second scale. You're not, they're not kind of all out, but there's a lot of detail on them. That worked really, really well. Huh. I'm pretty excited about that, actually. He's pretty cool. So, let's cut out the horse. Now, let me just tighten this a bit. Come on. Wow, that works incredibly well, like you wouldn't believe. Come on, there we go. Okay, so we got the horse out. And I'm not going to glue his arm on or even attach it yet. Um, these kits really stick to their to their joints. Um, I can't remember what figure he was building, but I, I wanted to see what the arm looked like on it, and I stuck the arm on, and it it wouldn't come off. And he was he was quite put out with me because <laughs> he he couldn't paint it properly. And I think he ended up actually cutting off the arm and then reattaching it later. But yeah, he was, it was kind of funny. He wasn't impressed. So I'm just going to remove, there's a sink mark here. There we go. So, my horse. I'm just going to carefully trim this. That looks good. Remove that. And let's sand those edges out. This 
There's a bit of a seam line on them too, but it's not very drastic. But, um, you know how that is when you're... You just flatten that out. I can see some ridges in it. Okay, that looks good, actually. So, I think he's building the archers right now. So, let's just snap these together here. That looks pretty good. So the samurai figure has a peg on his side stirrup. And that fits, he fits in there like that. That's pretty cool, huh? Quite excited of that. And... Yeah, I'm not going to attach his arm yet. Not, probably not till I'm close to being done. Uh, I'm not going to attach the flags till uh, like way later. Uh, he told me that they they don't come off well, and so he, what he wants to do, he said, what we should do um, is just glue them on permanently later when we're when we're close to being done. Um, and yeah, we've kind of got our armies going here. So this other samurai, it looks like he's... Do they have the same horse? That'd be kind of sad. I don't know, they don't. I've, I've seen that before. That, that's always kind of one of the, you know, more frustrating parts about buying figures and, and stuff like that is... Is getting, you know, the same figure over and over again and I always hated in um, with figures is um, why they don't give you more guys that are pointing and like shooting why do they give you like three or four and then they give you like five or six guys that are loading I don't know if anyone else like that that was always I used to buy night miniatures when I was a kid and some Romans, and that was always one of those things that made me so mad. I was always like, no, I want 50 archers that are pointing and shooting. They're they're going to be the cool ones, because that's what you want. You know, you want this big battle. You don't want everyone loading. Or the one guy that looks like he's, you know, fumbling around with his bow and doesn't know why he's there. But uh, I guess that's where kit bashing comes in. It's a little more difficult, I think, with those rubbery plastic figures, though. You know, they don't take cement or paint or anything too well. There's ways to get around that, of course. But uh, let's just see. I'm just going to put him together and clean him up in a minute here. So he fits on like that. He has the same button here and pin on his stirrup he's kind of firing like way behind him so he fits on okay that so yeah like uh, he looks pretty cool too he's got a nice beard you can actually see his his beard in there which is nice uh, you know, it's not something you kind of have to imagine because we put it on the box. It's actually there on the on the figure. Challenger to a duel. Yeah, they're really nice figures. So I'm going to go, and what I'm going to do now is clean them up. You know, take off all the little joints and the little sprues and stuff like that, and I'm just going to uh, get them ready to be painted and stuff like that. I want to get rid of all the seams and edge lines on them and make sure they they look good because they're really nicely really really nicely molded figures and I'm kind of more and more excited 
to uh, to be painting these guys. This is kind of out of my usual territory of aircraft and tanks and whatever else I build. So yeah, they look terrific. And then they fit. Let's just show that they fit on this giant base, like so. And I went and bought some grass for these guys the other day. So I'll be adding that on as well. So they fit on. He fits on here, and he can't. Oh, they can fit on either side. They fit like that, and then you put a commander unit in the middle. So it's pretty cool. I like it. I'm gonna go and, like I said, clean them up, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to start painting them later today if I get them uh, clean the way I want them. So, I'm here with my brother. What do you think of this guy? Interesting. He's got some good armor to paint. So does this guy. Yeah. But I think kind of the only difference is, is their helmets and their poses. I think their armor's yeah, similar. Same pose. It's just the heads. No, his his torso is back farther. He's shooting behind him. He's shooting ahead of him. Uh. And then the horses are not much different. So, one thing I wanted to ask is these are both standard units. Uh, what kind goes in here? Is this like just the samurai? That's for the samurai commander on horse. So like that's the basic samurai set? Mm -hmm. He comes in there? Yeah. Okay. So I gotta, I've gotta clean up the horses here. You can see there in the backs. And a bit on the saddles because they're, they've got a join right there. So I'm gonna go clean these up. And I think I'll be ready to paint them pretty soon. And how would you say these are holding paint without priming them? Uh, for most colors I have had a rather good, it's gone rather well, but red has been rather weird. On these banners and such, I've painted the yellow ones with the yellow, Tamiya yellow and the red ones with the Tamiya red, but I've had no problems with the yellow, but the red one, you can see all these streak marks and no amount of paint can fix that. Oh, well, they probably need to be washed, because mm. they're, you know, they're funny plastic, red plastic, and... Yes, but the same thing also happens on the figurines with the red. Oh, really? Yeah. Once well, I put a black shade on, you don't notice, so... Well, maybe we just need to wash them better. I don't know if we've been doing that. No, we haven't. Because that's something that acrylics don't like, is... Uh, oil. Yeah, the oils, the release agents and that. Okay, so let's go and give these guys a bath, and because yeah, that's something that always slips my mind whenever I start building, is I don't think about cleaning them, and then clean up these figures and start painting, right? Yeah. Cool. So I figured I should do a kind of summary. I've just been painting here for the last half hour, I would say, um, and I've been having a lot of fun, actually. I'm painting the guy with the top knot here, um, guy without the helmet. And one of the best advice my dad ever gave me uh, when it comes to painting um, soldiers and things like that is I, I remember like when I was a kid I'd always ask him, how do you paint this, how do you paint this? And he'd always say, well, paint it the way they have it on the box and figure out how they do it. And then eventually you'll get the hang of what it's supposed to look like and you can kind of come up with your own colors. So I've been following the box kind of close, pretty close. Um, I've got the purple here. This is glossy. I'm going to add a flat coat on there. I use RLM gray here for part of the arm and the other part of the sleeve is going to be gray. Um, I use sky for the pants and it looks pretty good. I was kind of like, mm, maybe it'll look good, maybe it won't. Uh, I'm happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, copper here for the knee pads um, they're uh, three colors that are that's like impossible to paint um, on the box they have a brown trim turquoise centers and red dots in the turquoise um, so yeah I'm not gonna not gonna paint that um, but then I painted these blue uh, they're supposed to be 
uh, metal that I noticed these were painted often. Um, this and the ones on the arms were often painted a different color than the rest of the armor. So I think next I'm going to paint the face and all that. And I'm going to leave the uh, stirrups for very, very last. And I'm going to start painting in a little while after the armor is done. I'll show you guys that. But yeah, it's just little little things for now and then it's just tiny tinier details that I have to pick up so yeah next is the face and I've gotta go so I'll be back to paint in a little bit